like, oh, hey, good morning, greetings from Coventry. Well, I wasn't expecting to be. For some reason, I had in my head that this was happening tomorrow, Tuesday, and I had different plans for Monday. Anyway, I'm here. My youngest has gone in for their exam, and I just get to hang out here. Nothing interesting going on. I mean, it is Coventry, after all. But um, I'll get back, and I'm going to take the afternoon off. So I'll catch in with you tomorrow for the rest of the week now. Okay, so, so I guess we kind of have a problem. Uh, my other studio, the new studio, is all kind of lovely because there's a whole bunch of stuff still here at the old studio. That, like just knickknacks or useful things, a whole bunch of prints, some more in there. These are the empty tubes, another guitar, and then stuff. And then here, there's two boxes of stuff. I haven't used in two years, but I also don't want to get rid of. Like, um, that drawer of stuff. All this stuff here is where I'm at at the moment. And I was taking some stuff to the tip and then some stuff to the new studio. Only got the car and got a flat tire. Um, it's going in for its MOT anyway tomorrow. So I took it to the MOT and then walked back. I've got nothing done today, unless you count all the trips to the tip. It's the end of the day. And uh, because of course the car is at the MOT place. Oh, you can't hear that. Because the car is at the MOT place, I um, look back in the vein. Here's a fun thing, and please excuse that both the plotters going on in the background, but I'll just show you this. So over here we have a page that tests out the font as I print them out and here's an example in all the different types. So I've got this handwriting, this handwriting here, this one I think is my handwriting, yep. And then this is the one that Kitty traditionally uses. And this is kind of done as a test page but also because I thought for the algorithmic zine machine it would make quite a nice page somewhere in here. But then I figured, as I was printing birthday cards anyway, that if I had just the letters that made up happy birthday, instead of the whole alphabet, I could kind of do a fun birthday card. I'll show you this when this finishes plotting. All right, here we go, all finished. Give me that. So if we have a look over here, it's all the letters of happy birthday. And actually the code sneaks in the word happy and birthday. It randomly places happy in the top half and birthday in the bottom half. Unfortunately, I haven't got it spitting out exactly where. So I think uh, happy, that's happy there. Not sure if you can see that. And then further down here, I think birthday is, I think it's there. There we go. In the one I sent out the other day, I actually highlighted happy birthday, which can be anywhere. But I thought for my puzzle solving friends who like word searches, I might just leave it like that. Anyway, that's been my fun for today, doing that. I've also been working on the handwriting server, trying to get the joined up writing working. I think I've had a breakthrough, but uh, it probably won't be finished until Friday. So that's really good. I'm excited to get that done before the shit hits the fan with the jury duty. So I'm going to grab some lunch now, and I'm super pleased with that. So um, I'll probably see you in Coventry tomorrow. You know what? The sound isn't that bad here in the car. I can see why people use cars as podcasting recording studios sometimes. I'm in Coventry. Again, this is the last time. This is the last exam. English IGCSE. So good. It'll all be over soon. I've been up since five this morning. I don't recommend it. There is not really anything to report right at the end of yesterday. I updated the handwriting server for pen plotting and managed to get output from it via the API and I think it works. Um, I'm looking forward to trying it properly. We're going to do that tomorrow and I will record it and show you and then I think I'm done for the handwriting stuff at the moment. It's time to get back to um, finishing one more script for the uh, pen plotting tutorials. I'll get back on that. It's all jury duty next week, but I've mentioned that before. So I have literally nothing to report. There's a mini newsletter going out this evening, which is just a heads up on a different pen plotting video course that's going to be releasing in September. Not mine, it's a friend of mine, and it's going to be really good. So that's linked in the newsletter, link below, all of that type of thing. I'm going to drive back. The exam finishes in half an hour. I'm going to drive back and then probably 
map. So that's it for today. But I thought I'd just catch up. I have a suspicion that this is going to be one of the easier week notes to edit. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow with something hopefully more interesting, like a handwriting plotting like this. Now, I would say that this is working, and because the handwriting is generative and based on my handwriting, each one of these is different, so all the T's and everything, it's really quite good. So I would say that's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> I'm really pleased. Okay, we're going to do a few more experiments, and then I'll talk a little bit about this. And I've just set it away doing another test, which is kind of a fun one. This is the whole alphabet. And you get lots of letters in here that aren't normally connected to each other. And we have to come back and dot the I, J, and do the T. Yes, that's a kind of a fun one. And it's pretty quick as well. So my N and M's around here are a little bit sloppy. They just kind of get, uh. But then to tell the truth, my N and M's are kind of sloppy in real life as well. So it's kind of captured um, the terribleness of my handwriting. So I just thought I'll show you this quickly. I think you've seen this before, but over here on the screen, this is my like testing suite, my handwriting manager. And here I can put some text in. So if I change this to A4, and then just tell it to draw. It's gonna to try to draw this text in the best way it can in here. And it's now doing joined up. And over here on the right, you can see this is where I have my API, my handwriting server running, and it's posting over the data. And it's giving the width and the height of the space we want to fit it into, uh, whether it's justified left, right, if word wrap is true or false, so automatically wrapping it around, you know, that type of thing. So if we drop in, let's say, the Ozymandias poem here. Sonnet? Is it a sonnet? Not sure. We hit draw. Over here it's dumped in the whole thing and it's trying to automatically fit it in. Now we've got um, word wrap. Let's just turn that off. Draw again. So now it's actually going to use the line breaks you've been given. So here it is. Let's save that and then go down to here. Upload it. That'll do. It's going to be on the brushless. We'll just preview that. And now it's going to work out how long that plot is going to take. And then we'll send it over to this plot over here. But before that, let me show you just one more thing. Right, let's come back. It reckons it's going to take just under four minutes. I've got a couple of files that it writes my journal pages for me and up here at the top this is the old one oh. and it says it takes 18 minutes to draw to write uh, my journal in my old not joined up handwriting but now it only takes 10 minutes that's a great improvement for writing my journal pages all right there we go there's two journal pages I've done it without the spots normally we have all these dots on here 
but this is the single handwriting, the single letter handwriting. And then this is the joint up. Let's put these two together. There we go. So we've got feeling good about today and then feeling good about today. I think that's right. And although it's not a huge difference, this being all single lettered is a bit weird. This is so much close to my handwriting. Like I said before, if you put them side by side this way, we can see first paragraph, second paragraph. This takes up slightly more space, which I guess is because the words are longer. Obviously, my handwriting is still all messy because my handwriting is messy, but I don't think you'll be able to tell that this wasn't handwritten, that this was actually drawn by a robot and is algorithmic. Yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Obviously, it's been a lot of work to encode my handwriting, and then I'd have to do all that work all over again to encode somebody else's handwriting. But that's a, that's a thing for another day. Right, I'm done now because I'm going to edit this video. But first, I need to go to the estate agents to shout at them again, and then go to my solicitor to try to figure out what to do. Because estate agents, man, they just lie. Well, I mean, that's not completely true, but their time estimates are always like, oh yeah, it's just a couple of weeks for this, and then everything's all good. And then you get to a couple of weeks, and then they go, oh, but something else has cropped up, and maybe that's true. But I think if somebody said to me right at the start of the year, oh yeah, this whole thing's going to take six months, and at the time they were like, okay, everything's all good, it's all lined up, it's going to happen and it hasn't happened. There's always been one thing after another. If I had known back then, I could have done something else. But as it stands now, I kind of ran out of money like a month and a half ago or something like that. So I've got to figure something out because, as they say, it's only a couple more weeks. <laughs> but that's that's a me problem, not a, not a week notes problem. But I'll let you know where I'm up with that. Next week, um, as I said before, is jury duty, so I'm not sure what's going to happen to these week notes videos. Uh, it might not happen at all next week, but that would be the first one we've missed since we started. We've done about 80 now. Right, okay, I'm going to get on. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I will catch up with you, or not, next week.